to my journal. In today's video, I'm showing you my natural hair routine that has been my game changer. It has made my life so much easier and my hair is healthy and thriving, okay? I promise you'll learn about some amazing products, not just products, but also tips that I included in today's video. So if you're struggling with maintaining your natural hair or whatever your breakage, whether you can't find the right shampoo, conditioner, deep conditioner, I got you. Also, all the products and equipments I use mostly are very inexpensive and you can find at your local beauty supply store. That will help to tame your natural hair and make it even more manageable. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always trying to just make my natural hair as manageable and easy as I can, me personally. Whenever I'm in like the beauty supply store and someone asks me about my hair, these are the tips and techniques Niece that I recommend to them. So, so why don't we uh, get this video started? Let's begin. All right, guys. So I'm starting off with freshly seven-day hair. So I only wash my hair once a week, if you're wondering. And usually by the end of the week, it's just like this. Okay, depending on the style or the hairstyle that I do do that week. My hair is not extremely dry right now, but it does need a good wash and deep condition. So we're gonna just go ahead and roll into it. So first thing I like to do when I get in the shower is I like to go ahead and pre-rinse my hair with water to get rid of all the buildup products I put in my hair that week and just get it nice and clean and ready for some conditioner. Now I have really thick 4C hair, so I like to go ahead and part my hair in four sections usually. This helps me to apply my conditioner very evenly and get every part of my hair. So for my conditioner today, I'm using this Aussie Moist Conditioner, super hydrating conditioner. Helps to really re-moisture my hair, but also not dry out my hair at the same time. So if you're looking for a new conditioner or your hair lacks a lot of hydration, I recommend this conditioner to you 100%. And Let's be real, okay? It retails for about six dollars. I said yes, yeah, six dollars, girl. Living on a budget, so I just really work this conditioner and lather it all over my hair. Now you're probably wondering why I'm not starting off with shampoo. I do not shampoo my hair weekly. I do condition my hair weekly. I only shampoo twice a month. I feel like shampoo really dries and strips my hair, and I do not need that for my hair, okay? I really have dry kinky, full, heavy hair. So I like to go ahead and always hydrate it and moisturize it. So definitely try conditioning rather than shampooing more often. After I finish all four sections, I like to just go ahead and do a little massage to my head to really make sure this conditioner is also in the roots of my hair and it's really penetrating every single hair follicle. Back to rinsing, so I'm gonna rinse this conditioner on my hair. Make sure you take the time to rinse out your conditioners or whatever product you put in your hair. Always wanna work on clean hair. Never wanna keep a rinse out conditioner ever in your hair for more than an hour or two, to be honest.
we're back to doing those four sections for another time. Hello, four sections. It's like a lifesaver to do these four sections, okay? Then I'm going to go into my deep conditioner. I love a good deep conditioner, so I deep condition my hair once a week. So this is an Aussie 3X deep conditioner lifesaver. Lifesaver. Okay, so again, I go ahead and start working the product into my hair. Now, if you have any deep conditioner recommendations, make sure to leave a comment down below because I'm always looking for a new one. I was going to try that as I am one, but I don't know yet. Do you guys like it? Do you like it? Anyway, leave me a comment down below. After I work the deep conditioner in my hair, I like to take a clear cap and put this on my hair. Then we're going to move on to deep conditioning using a blow dryer. Now, I got this blow dryer at my local beauty supply store. It was, kid you not, $12. I was like, oh my gosh, what? So... It's a game changer. I use it every week. I deep condition my hair for at least 30 to 45 minutes. It's super easy to use and it actually works. Go check out your local beauty supply store. I also believe you can find this on Amazon. So after like 45 minutes, I go ahead and take this cap off and then of course I rinse out my hair. Okay, we are done with rinsing. I go ahead and grab a towel. Now, I don't use a towel to dry my hair because the fibers on the towel are too harsh for my hair in the end. I just use it to hold my hair up and out of my face until I get out of the shower, pretty much. So I use a very soft hand with this. Y'all, look at the shrinkage. Look at the shrinkage. Look at the shrinkage. <laughs> it's okay, let's keep it moving. So. Every time I wash my hair weekly, I always detangle it. One, to stop breakage, and two, to make my hair much more manageable. So I like to use this product, which is the Kinky Curly Not Today Detangling Lotion. And I just lather it all over my hair. It is the game changer. It makes your life so much easier when it comes to detangling your hair. So you just apply it all over your hair. And then after I apply it all over my hair, so I usually just use this Kinky Curly Not Today Detangling Lotion, but also I've just started using this Pantene Leave-In Detangling Milk. Now this is from a new Pantene line. This is a Pantene Gold Series. I don't know my final thoughts on it yet, but I just started using it. I will let you guys know in future videos. Then we're moving on to detangling my hair. I always, always use a wide tooth comb when it comes to detangling my hair. This one is very spacious and it helps to really soften the hair and get all the tangles out. I also always start at the end when it comes to detangling. You never ever want to start at your root. You always want to start at the end and then make your way up to the root. Okay? Okay. Out of my whole routine, detangling probably takes the longest, literally. And then this next method also takes the longest. Thank 
you, Pinky Not Curly, today and Pantene for saving my life. Next, I'm going to move on to the lock method or the LOC method. So this is pretty much how I lock moisture in my hair. Like I said, I have very dry 4C hair, so I have to really put in products that are geared towards hydration and moisturization okay so we're gonna go into O, which is oil i love jamaican black castor oil y'all if you have not tried this or if you guys have not tried jamaican black castor oil you need to try it for hair growth this is the product castor oil is already known for hair growth but this changes the game you can find jamaican black castor oil at your local beauty supply store i'm 100 sure but I just lather this all over my hair and just get it ready for C, which is cream. So L was liquid, O is oil, C is cream. For my cream, I'm using this Can2 Cream Enhancer. And I just apply this right where, again, I apply that Jamaican castor oil. Also, another thing I want to mention to you guys is I always start at the ends when I apply any product. Because the ends really help to lock everything in and then it goes right up to the roots. I go ahead and make sure to massage everything into my hair, make sure everything's hydrated. my wash day depends if I style my hair then and there today I did not style my hair then and there so when I do not style my hair what I like to do is I like to put my hair in a half up half down little ponytails the ponytail holders I use are the extra large ponytail holders so I just put it right over my hair and it's not pulling it's not pulling or tugging or anything on my hair while I sleep in the night and then after that I put on my bonnet and I'm done done So that was my natural hair routine and then I usually style it. So I style my hair in different ways. If you guys do want to see a tutorial on this hairstyle, make sure you go ahead and leave a comment down below or give this video a like so I know. I do have a bun hair tutorial which I'll link down below or right up here with that little eye thing, you know? So you guys can go ahead and check out and I'll also go ahead and link all my natural hair videos down below for you guys in general so you can go ahead and check it out. So I do want to note that I do wear natural clip-in hair extensions, one, because my hair literally shrinks y'all saw how it shrinks and water gets on it I just have a picture right here when I did like a full-on twist out on my hair and you see how big it is that is all my hair but my actual hair shrinks when it gets water on it so I like to put clipping extensions for volume and length I'll also show you guys how long my hair is so this is all my hair right here right it's growing through my scalp yeah yeah um, so this is how long my hair is right here when it's stretched and you can see it's pretty much the same as these clip and extensions so this is what I do for my hair and it is still my natural hair routine because I do take care of my hair every week without these clip and extensions okay because I have to keep my hair forever and the clip and extensions do come out just to be full on transparent with y'all okay so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up also subscribe down below for new videos like this every single week y'all know I'm always uploading videos okay okay I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video so